Hey YouTube, so as you can see here I have a red pad. This is a front door header pad out of a pretty thrashed and, and uh, neglected Bluebird FS65. I think something was wrong with the motor on that bus, I'm not sure. But um, I test fit it into my Bluebird and as you can see I've kind of peeled some of this back and I've cut, this is the foam they use interesting foam um, but as you can see here I've drawn a line and that's uh, the edge of my door that's the overhang like if I butted this side up against the wall um, I'm thinking it's because the door mechanism uh, opening on the uh, newer bluebirds is bigger so either way that's the overhang we're gonna get rid of it um, I have a saw back here, a hand saw, because I don't have a uh, skill saw. So we're going to cut that real quick, and then I'm going to restaple it. More to come in a second. All right, there's our implement of destruction. And all this really is is just half-inch plywood. Looks a little dull, doesn't it? But it's okay, it's going to be covered up in a second. I'm going to grab my stapler. We're going to wrap the uh, vinyl back around and uh, staple it. Then you'll see the finished product. Okay, so I have the staple gun, and I had to cut some corners out of here. And this actually looks like this is the fireproof or fire retardant stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this really tight, like so. So we got it good, really tight. Poke this. Okay. And now. I'm going to staple it. Let me pause the video. All right, and then we're just going to go through and put a few staples in here. Put those first two in. I'll tell you what, if you're going to be doing stuff like this, get an electric staple gun. So much more worth it. This is probably overkill. There we go. Put a couple more on the end here. That way, it's got a good hold. Flip the staple gun off. And, feels like the hole is right. Where the hell is the hole? I hope that the staple didn't go through there. Let me see here. I have to re-drill that hole. But, as you can see, I mean, yeah, it's a little off-center, but that's okay. That'll go against the wall. But, there you go, a nice, clean, ready to go in the bus. Uh, I will post video next of it being installed. All right, YouTube, so uh, it's installed. You can see where the piece is that I cut off. I wanted this to be against the other side, but um, the holes would be lower and it would cover up the door mechanism there, and I don't want that. So we now officially have, I have the red header pad down here that I recovered, but it just, it was the green one originally, and I overstuffed it, but it just, it, it looks like crap. It really doesn't look that good. So I don't know what I'm going to use it for. I may just toss it, you know, but I mean, you can see it kind of hangs down. You can kind of see the red on the back side, or the, the opening in the back side, and I may come back and do something about that. But we got that, and then I have the uh, header pad that came out of that, the same bus the front one did. I had to drill three holes in the center. Originally, this thing had uh, two angle brackets. Uh, one right here. And one right there and uh, I intend to do something for that again but it's it's actually pretty stout it's not bad I mean it moves a little bit but it'll do for now but it sure looks good now I just got to get these last two rows of seats done and uh, clean this thing out get all the garbage out of here and I've started doing that I've kind of kind of got sidetracked um, we just did an oil change on the Thomas and I have to tighten the uh, 
oil filters again. I gotta wait until they, uh, until it cools down a little bit more. Uh, till the exhaust cools down, I should say, and then tighten on them some more. Because uh, these DTs like their filters tight. But anyway, that's it for for now. The uh, everything is good. Thanks for watching.